Gravity wells are probably the most useful and versatile techniques you can learn in Line Rider. They are very easy to learn, but very hard to master. Every line you draw in Line Rider has two parts. The top part is where Bosch sits on the line. The bottom part, marked in gray, is called the gravity well. In this area, the contact points will be forced to try and sit on the line. What this means is that the contact points will be pulled towards the black part of the line. In this example, the nose, peg, and foot points are pulled to the black part of the line. Because this happens so fast, this actually pops Bosch into the air. This kind of pulling can happen with any line and any contact point. The easiest way to make gravity wells is to make a chain. The closer the line is to the point, the less Bosch will be pulled in the direction of the line, so the easier it is to make the next gravity well. To make a gravity well chain, draw reversed lines close to the contact point you want to pull. Remember, any of Bosch's 10 contact points can be used in a gravity well. The first chain in this example was a nose chain, and this one is a peg, or tail chain. Overlapping gravity wells like this is referred to as a fling instead of a chain. Flings can be used to speed Bosch up quite a bit. Flings are used a lot more than chains because they are better for moving Bosch around quickly and usually look a lot smoother. Bosch can fall off the sled a lot when making gravity wells, so this is mostly just a trial and error process. To give you a sense of what good use of gravity wells and flings can look like, here are some really good examples in popular tracks. Gravity wells are one of the core building blocks of Line Rider. After you have a good understanding for them, learning everything else is a piece of cake.